Hey crafters, welcome to another episode of Get Your Craft On. Today we're going to make tutus. It's going to be a tutu tutorial and it's going to be really fun. Check it out. Oh, how adorable is that? Oh my god, that's so cute! You just want a blue. There's someone I have in mind for this one. Very cool. Here's one that's very similar to the last one I showed. It has pink in it. Pink! This one is made with a different type of material. It's more of a ribbony and very stiff, but very poofy. I like it. It's so cute. And here's uh, another example with, uh, I think this is chiffon, but a ribbon type of material, not tulle. Yes, I am missing my body and it's on a chair. Just kidding. So for today's tutorial, we're going to make a tutu using some very simple, uh, very inexpensive materials. And I will start with, you need a ruler. This is a yardstick. Tool of various colors. This is purple or lavender, pink. There's white. There's all kinds of different colors of tools. So you don't have to match my colors if you don't want to. They, they come in various colors and uh, from various sources, so you can go to Joann's or Michael's or even shop on the web. Also, you need some elastic, a pair of scissors, and a chair. I have already pre-cut my material right here. Oh, I cut <clears throat> the, uh, the width of my elastic, not stretched. Uh, to 20 inches, about 21 inches actually, because I'm going to simply just put a knot at the end. I'm going to tie that together. I'm concentrating. And then when the project's done, you can you can tack it with you know a needle and thread if you don't if you don't think you know it needs adjusting or anything like that. So. Here's the fun part. You can stretch this over the back of the chair. All right, so I've already pre-cut my strips of tool uh, to approximately 16 inches in length. The length uh, that you use is all dependent on you and how tall your little girl is, but I chose 16 inches. To get started, you fold it in half, make sure that the ends meet, and so you have a loop right here at the other end. You'll take it just so where you have the elastic right here and just pull the, the loose ends through the loop and then just gently tug the ends. Good. Alternate colors. So fold in half and create a loop. Put it underneath your elastic just like this. Grab the loose ends, pull through the loop. Fold in half, create a loop. So now I have oh, a little bit, a little, little uneven there. Anyway, so I've got I've, this is how it looks when they're all together, and so I'm just going to repeat this pattern along with some sparkly, ooh, sparkles, and uh, then this when we take it off the back of the chair, it'll be all nice and poofy. So while I finish this project, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for subscribing to my channel and welcome to new subscribers. 
So I apologize if it appears that I've been slacking. I'm trying to work out a new schedule and I hope to have more regular, more regular. I like to be more regular. That's Metamucil. That makes you more regular. Uh, you know what I mean. I hope to make regular videos in the future, like next week. In some instances, you might run out of uh, material before you actually finish your project, but that's okay. All you have to do is just cut extra of material that you still have that matches with your tutu. And in this instance, I have run out of the pink and I ran out of the sparkly color. So I'm just going to add some more of the lavender uh, tool in between uh, the pieces of tool I've already added. So it'll just add more purple to the piece and it'll still make it look fuller. So I think I forgot to mention how many you need to, you need to have. Um, Generally what, what you want to have is, is enough pieces on your elastic to fill it in so you don't see like big gaps of, of, of elastic when it's fully stretched out. So keep that in mind. Generally I use about 21 to uh, 28 pieces of tool to fill in my tutu because it's just too, too cool. <laughs> so I had to improvise a little bit because I ran out of material. I ran out of the sparkly and and the pink, and but I have plenty of the, the, the lavender, so I ended up adding uh, enough to fill in the, the elastic. And so here's my knot right here. Now, this, I mean, I just knotted it. I hadn't sewn it, you know, tacked it shut yet. So, you know, you can adjust it to make sure that, you know, it fits your little girl's waist. How cute is that? That's so cute. And here's the finished product. How adorable is that? It's for a little girl who wants to play dress up and, or, you know, or ballerina. You want to play ballerina? Or a fairy. Or just because she's funky. Because, you know, girls are like that. So wasn't that fun? Perfect for little girls, even babies. So check out the materials list down below, make a comment, rate it, and subscribe. Is that? Is that just so cute? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna put it on myself. Okay, maybe not.